So I'm here at another North Carolina treasure. I uh, sandwiched between Raleigh and uh, uh, I guess Cary. Uh, well, not guess Cary. I'm, I'm on the Cary side right now. I'm at the uh, well. I'm at the Ready Creek entrance. Um, but anyway, look at this trail map. Holy moly, I, I found the perfect trail that's 3.1 miles out and then 3.1 miles back. But I'm gonna look at this map for a while and see if I can find a loop from this entrance. Cause I prefer a loop, cause then you got all new scenery the whole way around. Like this, uh, if I could come up here and get on this, for example, you know, but I'm not sure if that goes all the way around or not. I have to read the sign, but here, let's tell you a little bit about the park. This is the William B. Umstead State Park. That's U-M-S-T-E-A-D. Uh, and it says, welcome to the William B. Umstead State Park. Please pay attention to these notices in order for your safety. Blah, blah, blah. You got hiking, mountain biking, ooh, horseback riding. I guess uh, a few people in here carry must have horses somewhere. I haven't seen any since I've been here. Uh, you know, I always point out uh, at this entrance, uh, you got the bathrooms right here. Um, that's a good, good thing to have. And uh, I'm gonna study this map for a while. And then we'll get on the trail. If nothing else, I'll just do that one that's uh, 3.1 miles, miles out and 3.1 miles back uh, if I can't find a loop. So let's let's keep working here. And see, this is what I was talking about. This is the uh, Crabtree Creek entrance up here. So you've got multiple entrances. Uh, this was closer to where I'm staying in Cary. So that's why I, I use that entrance. All right, next clip will be on the trail. So, you know, this is the stupid stuff that we live with. What the hell? I mean, a stupid sign saying wet floor. Oh my gosh, can we die though? Yeah, the floor looks a little wet because maybe we wash your hands from time to time. But anyway, this is the bathroom here. So let's get on the trail. But I just wanted to show you that stupid ass sign. I hate them freaking things. Like the dumber than hell. Now, if somebody just mopped the floor, yeah, I could see having it freaking there. See how I'm not cussing? Woo, I get a little fired up here. All right, I'm still studying the map. So before we get on the trail, I wanted to show you, you got a wonderful little picnic area here, uh, just right right at the right next to the parking lots, if you will, just wanted to come in here and have a picnic. And then I was checking out this uh, uh, picnic shelter here, got somebody in there uh, probably working on a laptop, but you can see there's picnic tables there, uh, good place to take shelter in a thunderstorm. I'm not going to go in there because I don't want to bother that person, uh, but you can see you got a fireplace where you can have a fire. Uh, well, they do recycle here, that's good. And uh, anyway, let me go over and let's get on the trail now. I promise the next video will be on the trail. So I just had to make an, a decision. You know, what they need is, is a blown up map here. You know, multiple maps with uh, bigger, uh, bigger um, information. Because it's hard to tell what, what everything's doing. Because I'm, I'm supposedly right here. But if you look at this sign... This is the Lob Lolly Trail right next to this because I'm, right, I'm in the parking lot. So I shouldn't be seeing, if this is the Lob Lolly Trail, I shouldn't even be seeing it. So if that is indeed the Lob Lolly Trail, it looks like you just go a little ways and then we can take a, 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 a the Reddy Creek Trail and go up to the lake and just check that out. Uh, I don't see any way to loop around it because it would be nice if you could get around that lake and get onto the Reddy Creek Lake trail and then you know come back to the Lob Lolly trail look down uh, Harrison Avenue and then come back uh, well to there right but I'm here <laughs> maybe this is the trail right here and we could hit I, I don't know I, I, I I'll, let's just get hiking and get lost screw it you know sometimes you just gotta admit defeat but uh, if they had a bigger blown up map we could have figured it out. Now, the nice thing about this is it's a hiking only trail, so I don't have to worry about getting run over by uh, bicycles. So we'll, we'll just see where this goes. Uh, I mean, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trail. So that's what we came here for was a decent hike. Boy, I tell you, I, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow. So this is it for um, Cary, North Carolina. I've, I've made up my dog on mine. I mean, I, well, tomorrow we got some crappy, the only reason I'm still here, by the way, I just wanted to explain, um, was I looked at the weather forecast last night because I was heading back to uh, Lynchburg, Virginia to finish up there uh, before I can get back to Florida. And, uh, and what I found was the weather forecast. It is a beautiful 75 to 80 degree day 
And I thought, well, why would I want to spend that in a car driving, you know, when I can just take one more day here in Cary, go hiking, and, uh, and then tomorrow it's supposed to rain. I don't mind driving in the rain, so it's going to be crappy weather tomorrow, I think a bit cooler. So I said, let's enjoy one more day here, get out to this, because I've been hearing about this park. People have told me about it. Look over here. That's pretty cool. I always get the weird stuff. Uh, here's a cemetery. Let's see, uh, let's see if there's any names on the... I wonder if these are the Olmsteads that, uh, that the park was named after. Let's just check it out. It's a little... Let's see if... It, I'll look at the biggest one here. No, nothing written on it. Hell, let's go in here real quick. Hold on. I want to see if this is their cemetery. So this is... Uh, of course, it's upside... I guess it... I don't know if it... Yeah, it fell off. This is... Uh, Renee Young... Uh, sister so I don't know who the you can't read that I guess it's worn off this is a so I guess this is the Young's grave uh, I was just wondering if it was uh, I got imagine these might have been children in the and the little markers there okay man I tell you it's a, we're all we're all gonna end up there someday you know that's why you gotta gotta do all you can right now people you gotta do all you can all right well when I, I you know I so let's look at the start of the trail, man. Look at these pine trees. You know, it is quite beautiful. And uh, it's uh, so far easy hiking, nice and wide open. Uh, you see the blue mark on the tree down there. It's uh, well marked. Uh, so, you know, I don't think we'll, the only way we'll get lost is, is on the trails. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to make that right to, I wanna see the lake, you know? I, I, I think that would be cool. And by the way, there's a campground. I don't know if you saw on that map. There's a, I guess that would be a backpacking campground. Boy, I tell you, if you lived here in uh, Cary, this would be a wonderful place to come in and, and backpack down to that uh, campground and just hang out in this forest. This is, uh, this is by the way, it's quite uh, quite large. I, I don't remember exactly how many acres it is, but it's, I think, I want to say 3,500, but I don't hold me to that, okay? Um, that's what I think the guy said yesterday, and I haven't seen anything that says that. You can always look up the park online and see how big this thing is. But uh, should be a, should be a good day. We'll, uh, we're gonna get another good video. Uh, you know, I don't know if you noticed, I've just put the video up as all one big video yesterday. So here we are, we're crossing, uh, I guess this is Harrison Street. I don't know, let's just keep going. Okay, so a question answered on pets. All pets must be on a leash. And I tell you what, you, you don't want to let them off. <laughs> you don't want to let them off the leash and get caught. They got some hefty fines here at this park. Uh, according to that sign, I was just reading it. And I was going, man, that's well. I wish we could do that in some parks in Florida. I tell you what, I've been attacked by dogs down there, and uh, but yeah, I mean they're supposed to be leashed, but I don't think we have those hefty fines like they've got here. Uh, you know, because uh, you know, I hate to say, everybody thinks, oh, he's so he's so friendly. Yeah, and most dogs are. Most dogs are. You know, I mean, I pet, I love petting dogs and everything, but but you know, all it takes is to get attacked a couple times, and I've been attacked twice in Florida. You know, with people with dogs off their leash. So uh, don't tell me, oh, he's friendly. Oh, he's friendly. Anyway, all right, so uh, it's kind of more the same that we were seeing there at the beginning now that we've crossed that road. I imagine we're gonna get deep, deep into the forest. Uh, who knows, may see a bear. I got, you know, all my days hiking, uh, with all the videos I got, I don't, can't, I, I'm, I'm, I've only seen one bear uh, from a distance. <laughs> you know, I guess they're, uh, so you know, every, they always put up the bear warning, bears, you know. I guess if, the, if you came up on a female bear and, but I think the bears, for the most part, know these hiking trails, and they just stay away from them, you know. And, uh, you know, of course, if you're a hunter, so you're going to go off these trails anyway. It's just the hikers that, that stay on the trails. Um, and I don't know the hunting rules for this park, so I can't tell you in the video. I haven't seen anything posted about it, and I haven't seen any no hunting signs. Let's just put it that way. So um, when I get to something different, we'll get that on the video. But look at the weather I got. Holy moly. You can't ask for a more perfect day for a hike. And I've got till, uh, well, we got about uh, five hours of daylight, or maybe even six hours. So we can really hang out here and get in maybe maybe even two hikes. I, I just don't know what my legs can take. I mean, four straight days of hiking. I, I can't even believe my body. I did, I did sleep about 12 hours <laughs> last night. <laughs> that's, that's where my body recovers. 
you know, after cancer, you know, when you go out and exert yourself, like I have been, I mean, my body, I, I don't, maybe if you're a cancer survivor, leave a comment below, you know, because my body just, it just shuts down. I mean, you know, and I'll sleep. I mean, you know, and of course, you know, my mom, you know, and my, my ex-wife would just give me hell. You sleep all the time. You sleep all the time. I said, well, you know, yeah, but I do a lot of exercise or I try to as best I can, you know, and but as, you see, I got problems, you know, and uh, I, I just I just try to plow through them. But when you plow through that problem, that problem comes back to haunt you. And, you know, next thing you know, you're sleeping 10, 12 hours. But uh, enjoying the hike. Uh, We'll get to get another clip here in a while. I always like to get the benches. Uh, here's a bench uh, a little ways in on the trail. Now, I just met a gentleman I can uh, totally equip for the day. I have water, backpack, uh, the way that I should be. I didn't even bring my walking stick. Um, I, I don't know, I just forgot it. I, and I was already too far away from the car to go back and get it. I said, you know what, screw it. It's not, it's not a, like a, I'm climbing a mountain or something, you know. So. The only thing would be if I tripped on one of these roots, you know, you got no no way to stop yourself from falling without the walking stick. But anyway, what he told me is uh, we're going to go down here and I guess we're going to come to a road at some point. Okay, and that's what we were seeing on that map. And then if I make a left on that road, less than a mile, we'll get to Reddy Lake. And, uh, you know, we may change the hike up, okay, because I think he said it's 2.1 miles to the road. And then uh, we'll go down that road because I want to get a view of the lake. And then there might be some trails at that lake that we can pick up on and hike that for a bit rather than just staying on this trail to the end and then turning around and hiking back on the same trail. You know, so that's why I say these hikes kind of evolve, you know, uh, especially when you don't, <laughs> you don't know where you're going or what you're doing. Now, this, it is, this park, I mean, you, you're, in the, you're in the heart of, of Raleigh, Durham, you know, Cary. I've seen, uh, you know, there's two people ahead of me hiking. I just met that guy back there. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a treasure for the uh, for the area here. Just like the, uh, the the paved bike trail that we did. Uh, you know, I broke that up into five videos and I probably should. And, you know, now I can, I didn't even know I could post a 40 minute video. <laughs> I mean, because I thought YouTube would throttle me on that because once you get past a certain file size, usually they uh, they say, you know, that file's too big. So I don't know, I, I, I tried it yesterday and it worked. So I'll make my videos a little bit longer from now on. I, I just find that most people just want to watch 10 minutes. Let's cut it off. So anyway, here's another bench. I mean, so there's lots of places to sit along this trail and, but I wanted to show you, you know, we got a competition here between the oak trees or I think these are oaks or whatever, hardwood trees, let's just put it that way. Uh, of course, I came through a little hardwood area here. You know, I always try to get the transition. There's another guy hiking, like I said. It's a, but you can see now it looks like I'm transitioning back into some pine trees. So anyway, I, th I thought that was just different. I, um, so uh, let's just keep on going. So I thought this was a nice view. Check it out, a little uh, creek running down below. Uh, one unfortunate thing, so here goes another guy jogging. Boy, I remember those days. And uh, Got two more people up in front of me. I won't get them on the video that they're just hiking along. Boy and his girlfriend. And uh, But I thought this, unfortunately, I've been going down. <laughs> you know what I mean? It seems like every trail I do, I go down at first and then up on the way back. I just say, I, I don't know who designs these trails. <laughs> we want to go up on the way out and down on the way back. All right. That's uh, just a beautiful view. I, I just wanted to get that. Well, I've been hiking behind this young couple up here. I don't usually do that. I like to be out here by myself, but uh, we're keeping about the same pace. And, uh, oh, well, I'm not going to stop and sit because I'm not even tired yet. But the reason why I've been going down, I just wanted to point this out, uh, is that we're, well, I guess, evidently, we're going to get down to this stream. And usually these trails will hike along the stream. Oh, they're turning around. Don't want to get, oh, no, they're going into a different uh Got to get a keep our faces off the trail so the trail's making a u-turn but i have a feeling well there's a well i'm not sure if that's a bridge uh, we'll, we'll get the clip when we get down there um so you can see the trail i'm going to follow them i'm assuming they know where they're going looks like that just goes down to the creek so you can get a look at it well let's go down there and get a clip there that way that'll give the kids a, a head start on me and that way i can uh, uh and we'll get a look at the creek well this is the reason that little offshoot was here you can see the kind of a rapid uh, 
blowing down. Uh, and then, of course, uh, looks like the people have worn a, a little bit of a path here beside the creek. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to let the young people get a head start, so we're just going to go off trail for a little bit uh, and try to get some video of the creek. Uh, very pretty. Um, I imagine at this point, usually, because uh, I think the trail's crossing the creek back there, and then it's going to be, well, going up, 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 up. So at least there'll be some down on the way back. <laughs> you know? But uh, so that's uh, that's it for the rapids. And then it just kind of smooths out. Uh, as a kid, I would, of course, want to take that log across the uh, creek just for the fun of it. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going to try it. I was going to say there's it looks like there's a trail along the creek on the other side. So if you went across that log, you could uh, get on that trail and hike back to the to the Lobby Creek Trail, but uh, let's just go a ways further. Let them get a good long head start. Trail brought you right to the tree. And if I were a young man, I'd walk across that. But as an old dude who trips over roots and uh, well, fell down and cut his hand, I don't think I'm gonna attempt that. But uh, you could see the, you could probably hike along this creek if you just wanted to come out and get off trail uh, for a while because it looks like this trail just keeps kind of go going on down where people have worn it in. Uh, I was going to go ways further and then I'll hit back and just uh, just to enjoy uh, just being off trail for a minute. You know, it's uh, it's only a 3.1 3 mile hike, well 6.2 today and that's a long hike but I can take it nice and slow because I got plenty of daylight and and the temperature's just perfect, and so, you know, you just make it a leisurely day. I'm not trying to bust buns out here, and, you know, I do want to get, as soon as I go uphill, I'll get the heart rate up, so that'll be good enough for me. I'm just going to keep it between about 2 and 3.5 miles an hour. I'm not going to even get up to 4, because uh, I uh, just, just want to just wanna enjoy the day. All right, I'm probably going to turn around here in a minute, because I do want to do that other trail, uh, you know, if you're just going to hike along the creek, but... Boy, you could make a, I mean, that's the thing I like about these uh, these areas, you know. I mean, you can always make a day. You can see there's a couple of people up here hiking, so then maybe that's another trail. Probably there's trails that wind all through these woods. I imagine this might even connect with where they are. So let's go back and get back on the, on the trail. Well, it rained yesterday, and uh, this is the actual crossing. And uh, being an old dude, uh, I much prefer those wooden bridges. But uh, I'm gonna try it, uh, just take it nice and slow. And uh, it's mainly that center rock that's wet. <clears throat> I don't wanna slip, when, but this is where, you know, we, where a walking stick is very, very important. So now I, I know that you're going, oh man, this dude, uh, he <laughs> this wouldn't bother anybody else. But I have slipped off of these rocks because you can see, see the algae, you know, as long as I hit the, uh, the dry area, you know, I'm sure I'll be fine. It's not that big a deal, but, uh, water is up just a little bit and uh all right that's it we're across uh, it looks like i tried to let the kids get ahead and they went over here and played in the creek uh oh well i'll be right behind them for a while longer all the best laid plans right so they're back in front of me again like i told you my heart rate's up now we're moving away from the river still following the kids here and uh so i you can you can hear me panting just a little bit because i'm used to those flat trails in florida I'm glad I'm getting this up and down a bit. Not too too difficult. Back there was a little bit uh, more steep. Didn't get that on the video, but we're just continuing along. It's kind of a uh, more of the same, more or less. All right, just want to get that on the video. So I got past the uh, the kids there. They were they took a break and uh, sat on a log. Uh, it's good to see, you know. I mean, I love how the kids can get out in the forest. Uh, they're a young couple, you know, young young black girl, a young white guy, you know, and they're having they're having a great day, and I'm glad to see it. You know, that's uh, that's something I would want my kids to be doing is getting out in the forest and and uh, enjoying the day. But I thought this is kind of a little bit different here. Uh, you know, it's uh, we're we're off the river now or the creek, I guess. Uh, one thing that you do here in the background here is uh, there's I-40 that runs nearby. And it's kind of weird, you know, being out in the forest like this, but you can hear the car noise as you hike. And uh, so it does, it kind of runs the ambiance a little bit, but uh, and still, I mean, you can't knock the fact that there is a forest right next to an interstate like this. So, uh, but really, I mean, what a, what a spectacular day. Oh my gosh, how lucky am I? All right, let's, uh, 
like I think it's just going to be more of the same for a while so I don't want to get another clip but I thought this was kind of a bit different it's not one nice thing about this trail to see how it makes it makes in a turn so you don't really you know there, there are not many straight shots you're kind of winding around and I like that you know I love a trail that just kind of winds around through the woods and uh it's, uh, you know, there are some rocky portions and my feet are hurting a little bit, but for the most part, you can see this is easy hiking right here. All right. So let me spin around here and just came down a gradual decline. I like the way they cut it in the trail, you know, you know, no steep slope or anything. And then we're coming up to another, well, I think it's another creek. I don't think it's the same one because I, I think there was more flow on the other one, but at least here you got a nice, uh, well, it looks kind of new, wooden bridge. Um, so that's uh, that's nice. Uh, let's get up and get a view of the creek real quick. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I see. I don't, I don't see the flow in this, but it, I mean, hell, what do I know? Could be the same damn creek. Let's get up here and take a view. That's what I'm seeing. Look at those rock formations. Very nice. And see, look, you know. Once again, you can go off trail, just hike along the creek probably for a ways or who knows. I mean, you know, they could add that to the trail map and just make those into trails, just hiking all around the woods. You know, maybe connecting, maybe make them into connectors and see here, you can see, you can go off trail and hike along the creek that way if you wanted to. So, uh, and then, boy, look at that rock right there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's, uh, now we're going back up. Bit up and down on this trail, that's good. Folks, I don't know, man. We may just make the lake and then uh, go back. I, four days of hiking, my, I'm just, I'm beat, man. Plus, I just I just came up a life, rocky slope and that's a little bit difficult. There's a pine tree, the size of that thing, right in the middle of the trail here. But uh, kind of weird how they can cut these trails in the side of a hill and, you know, this, tell you, look at, the, look at the maintenance that they do. You know, got these little wooden bridges along the way just to get over like little ravines and stuff. Uh, so they've, uh, they really maintain this. Um, but I did want to show you kind of the look down the, the hill here. Pretty cool. You know, just kind of hiking along the side of a, of a hill here. This is going up the hill. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it, man. Even my feet are sore. You know, I mean, I probably got a little bit of a red hot spot on the right uh, middle toe there and uh, from all the hiking. But man, you know, it's uh, when you get perfect weather and you got all of these wonderful spots to go with no humidity and the temp perfect temperatures, you you just got to you got to push yourself. You, I figure I, when I get to Lynchburg, Virginia, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be hiking for a couple of days at least because uh, I'm going to have to just recover and work on the, there's a stump in the back. I need to get some upper body uh, workout. So I'll just be swinging at that thing for hours probably. I need a, I need a file so that I can sharpen that, uh, that uh, whack-a-mole or, or splitter actually. I have a, I'm using a splitter to my, I don't know what happened to my dad's ax. Mom probably threw it away. She always threw away the useful stuff and kept like, you know, baskets of plastic flowers, you know, cause those are, those are real important. They're all over the house and closets and everything else. I don't know what what was up with that. I guess she just kind of got into co collecting them for some strange reason. But uh, you can see, you know, it's not all easy hiking. You could slip on one of them roots or, you know, they're hard on the feet. You know, there's some difficult, you know, steps up the, up the hill here. Uh, by the way, there was a sign back there uh, to let you know that you're still on the trail because, you know, somebody made them. You can make a wrong turn, hike along that river or something, I suppose. Well, look over here. I guess we're coming to what another creek. That's a big one. Okay, let's uh, let's wait till we get and we got this. This is a feeder feeder into that. Okay, let's see what we see. So the trail is uh, well, it's looping off to the right. And normally, you know, that when it does that, you would see a a bridge and then you would come back onto the left. So I don't. I'm not sure the trail is coming back to the uh, this little. Uh, well, I mean, a big sized uh, creek, I guess. Can't call that a river, I mean. And uh, so, but I wanted to get this on the video because it is a nice view right here. And this might be our last view of that uh, if this just keeps going uh, this way. So let's see what happens. So the trail did loop around like I, well, I was predicting pretty much. I wasn't sure. So, uh, but I wanted to show the terrain here. You know, we had some easy, easy uh, hiking. 
and now now you know it's a narrow uh lots of roots lots of rocks uh you know it's uh and i didn't show you over here i mean there was some there was some difficult hiking you know so this isn't uh what a, i mean so i guess you're getting all all transitions you know pines to oaks to tough hiking you know, narrow hiking you know easy hiking you know this trail has everything look at this so there you go it's coming down here so yeah we are going to hike up beside this uh, creek i guess for a while so let's see what uh what happens and uh but yeah you can see it's kind of going looping around and then going on down all right now <laughs> this is where i need a sign uh okay you tell me uh, which way do you go because if you look down here there's a blue marker on the tree now so we could go that direction you got a blue marker on this tree and then there's a blue marker on that tree uh anybody want to roll the dice as to which way i go they really need a sign here showing i mean i'm just thinking i bet if i go this way it probably just kind of gets you down to the river and then you got to hike back up well let's let's do it tag on it i'm getting tired man I, I i know i just you hear me whine he's a whiner he's a whiner <laughs> I, I am whining today gosh oh my but it, well i mean i don't know i mean it's there's a blue mark on the tree you know if you i guess if you want to stay by the river go left and uh I mean, you know, the river's going to take you somewhere. I mean, at least then you know you're, you're going to come out somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Oh, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> 